Hey folks, Cade here uh, from Ravencroft Guitars. In case that was a, I don't know why I say that. You guys know what channel you're on. Um, anyway, just uh, wanted to give a quick update on the uh, guitar that was getting auctioned off, um, as well as just kind of some plans for my next build. Um, and I'm doing this just as like a vlog style video because uh, it's going to be one take and uh, I don't really want to edit it. Yeah, so there you go. Um, maybe I'll do more of these if that's things that people want. Um, so yeah, so the guitar uh, ended up auctioning off for a thousand dollars, which is amazing and uh, better than the two hundred dollars that somebody projected in the comments. Um, so really, really happy about that. Thank you everybody for the you know supportive messages and everything like that. Um, yeah, I'm I'm super pleased with it. Uh, the gentleman who got it uh, seems really excited about it. He uh, has tried learning guitar in the past and just never really clicked for him. So it sounds like he uh, decided this was the best time to you know get back into it, get a custom guitar, uh, you know one of a kind uh, as a hell of an instrument to start on, um, and. You know, if you can support a children's charity at the same time, even better. Um, overall, the entire event ended up raising over $21,000 for the Stollery Children's Hospital, which is just amazing. Uh, they're a fantastic organization, um, and they help so many kids. Um, yeah, it, it's amazing. Um, so, yeah, again, huge thanks to everybody. Uh, I still have my, my rope hanging from the ceiling for my spraying and everything, but... Um, yeah, so next build, um, because my wife is amazing and hugely supportive, she has said that I should make a guitar for myself because I haven't made a guitar for myself in quite a while. Uh, it's been, you know, competitions and auctions and things like that. It's been, I haven't made a guitar that I held on to that wasn't for a competition since 2004. 13 I want to say so uh, I'm a little better than I was back then so I think I'm gonna take her advice and I think I'm gonna I'm gonna build myself a guitar um so as far as what that's gonna look like I haven't decided on a body shape yet um I do want to try my hand at um some reveal bevels uh I've been watching along with Sweet Tea Guitars Cloud9 build for his great guitar build off and man do those bevels look nice uh especially in the video that he posted just earlier today um so I think I'm going to I'm going to give that a go I'm going to use his video as kind of a template as to how I'm going to go about that make sure I have nice sharp lines that kind of thing um as far as the body uh, I have this beautiful piece of Wenge that I've been holding on to for about a year. So I think we're going to use that for the body. Um, for a top, I mean, my dream guitar would have some Zeracote. I love the look of Zeracote. However, I don't love the cost of Zeracote. Um, so I just, I don't think that I'm going to be able to get my hands on that in a way that isn't going to uh, result in my wife leaving me. Um, so I think I'm going to go with some really nice figured spalted maple. Uh, I've got a lead on some that is just going to look fantastic. Uh, but if anybody has any other recommendations for highly figured woods that are a little more affordable, uh, let me know. I would love to hear it. Uh, for the neck, uh, I have a lead on black walnut uh, and enough to do a neck blank with it. Um, which I think would look fantastic. I'm also tossing around maybe using some more of the wenge and just doing wenge neck, wenge body, um, and then the fretboard and the top being different, but I'm not sure. I kind of like the idea of having something a little bit different um, on the side, or on the, the neck from the body, uh, but still kind of similar in, you know, tones uh, of color. Um, not tone in terms of sound, because I'm not good enough to really care about that, uh, or to really be able to weigh in on the, the great tone wood debate. Um, yeah, for the fretboard, I have some Indian rosewood left over. I'll probably use that. Um, but I'm also thinking about maybe looking at some, like, rich light stuff. Um, I found a supplier out of Ontario uh, that has some rich light. Uh, and I've heard good things. Uh, it might be worth checking out. If not this build, maybe the next one. Something that's a little more sustainable than, than rosewood. Um, but yeah, let me know. 
Let me know what you think. If you have any recommendations on, on woods I should check out, let me know. Uh, as far as pickups, I think I'm going to go with a P90 in the neck and a humbucker in the bridge. Um, I play punk stuff, but also some like bluesy stuff, and I think that'll kind of give me a nice versatility option around both, um, as well as, you know, metal and things like that. So I think it'll give me a nice versatile sound. I love the sound that P90s give you, um, but also the humbuckers for, you know, those heavy distorted solos and everything like that. Um, as far as body shape, I'm kind of thinking maybe the same shape that I did this one for the auction, um, but maybe I'll try something different to see kind of what the wood is offering me and, and go from there. So if you have any recommendations, uh, let me know what you think would look cool or what you want to see me doing. I'm dropping my phone here. Uh, which brings me to another point of something that I want to ask. Um, so I'm looking at getting a dedicated camera uh, for filming as well as for taking pictures of my builds. Right now, I just use my iPhone. Uh, I think it's a 12. I don't know. Um... And, like, it's fine. It, it records in supposedly 4K, uh, 60 frames per second or 30 frames per second, whichever I want to set it to. Um, but it's kind of a pain to then get it to my computer to be able to edit and everything. Upload it to the drive and then download it and then have to convert it and all that jazz. And it's just a pain. So I'm looking at getting a dedicated camera. Um, if you have any recommendations, let me know. Uh, I'm not in a financial situation where I can break the bank. Um, so I'm not sure what kind of options are out there. My sister is a film nerd. She's going to school for film. Um, so she's going to give me some recommendations as well. But let me know. That'd be awesome. Um, as well, I am going to look at picking up a lapel mic because um, that's been a comment I've gotten on a few videos that my sound is not great. Um, you know, I have to work with my garage door open um, just for like the natural light being a little bit easier to see even with my big LEDs that I've installed in the ceiling. Um, but a mic would help cut down on, you know, the wind and, you know, birds and passing vehicles and things like that. So... Let me know what you think about that, and uh, yeah. Um, in the meantime, I have an acoustic guitar. Uh, it's my favorite guitar that I own. Um, that I it needs some TLC. Um, it's got some copper um, hardware on it that just over the over a decade that I've owned it um, through use and everything has just kind of oxidized a little bit. So I think I'm going to take that and in a video I'm going to clean it up and give it some TLC and just kind of do a little mini feature on that. That might be a project that happens before the end of the summer. Um, and then, you know, before I get started building my next one, um, which will be, you know, the Wenge and everything, which will probably be in September. Um, yeah, so just so you kind of know what's coming out next. Uh, also, let me know what you guys like in terms of uh, release content uh, and like formatting and everything. For Greg Guitar Build Off, I did, you know, episodically um, for this one for the auction because it was such a tight time frame. I did it all in one video and I cut out a lot of like the sanding and, you know, the installation of the hardware, you know, just like screwing it in and everything. Um, but I don't know what you prefer. Would you prefer to see more detailed episodic? you know, builds or, um, you know, more spread out, um, uh, like whole build videos where everything just happens in one. Um, what's kind of your ideal watch length? Uh, this last one was only about 15 minutes. Cause again, I was in a crunch to get it done in two weeks. Um, but I usually am around that like 20 to 25 minutes range. Do you have a preference? Do you want longer videos? Do you want like a 45 minute video every so often? Um, let me know. This YouTube thing is not something that I'm terribly good at uh, or something that I uh, I put a lot of my efforts in. I put more of my efforts into the actual guitars and making sure that they're good, um, contrary to what some people may believe. Um, but uh, I figure this is a good way, if nothing else, to document my journey of building. Um, and, you know, when I start opening up commissions and stuff, it's a good snapshot of my portfolio, I guess. So let me know what you prefer um but yeah thanks again everyone for all the support and everything thank you again to the winning bidder uh in support of this dollary um congratulations to everyone that you know bid and ran the auction and um all that thank you everybody congratulations um and all that's gonna go to supporting wonderful people um
check out merch. Uh, I do have a design on there right now where all the proceeds are going to go for charity. Information for that is on my Instagram. You can check that out. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, everybody. And I'll see you in the next build video. Bye.